Guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope everything's good wherever you are. Uh, guys, I hope you're keeping well. Uh, guys, some big news has obviously uh, surfaced. Uh, Canelo Alvarez has been offered, uh, apparently according that he's been offered a deal with PBC, a two-fight deal uh, of, what I think, worth over 100 million uh, to fight uh, Jamal Charlo in May and David Benavidez in um, September. Uh, that is a beautiful deal. And I, and I did say that there's a good chance that, you know, maybe that, um, maybe that, you know, is something that PBC might look at and why wasn't that offered. So now it makes a lot more sense what that promoter was saying. However, he was talking about the money just individually, but now it looks like PBC have offered money for him to fight, uh, Charlo and, and Benavidez in September, which obviously I like. I think I think it's a great. I think they're great fights. I think Canelo Alvarez can really cement his legacy, and and shut a lot of people up. You know, a lot of people have been talking nonsense. A lot of people have been saying he's ducking. He's this, is that. I would love for to see Canelo Alvarez take that offer, and fight Jamal Charlo in Las Vegas, and fight David Benavidez in Mexico. I think that deal makes a lot more sense than the Eddie Hearn one. Um, I just think as much as people want to see the Bivol fight, I just think the Jamal Charlo and uh, David Benavidez fights for me, 100 million for a two fight deal. I know Eddie Hearns was 85 million. They've now increased their offer to 100 million. And personally, I think the news that was put out there about Canelo Alvarez looking to accept the Dizon one was a negotiation tactic from now what what I've what it seems like was a negotiation tactic to maybe get PBC to, to offer him more money uh, because I think I think for me, Canelo Alvarez wants to go and fight Charlo and um, and David Benavidez. I think, I think those fight. Firstly, I don't think, just think they're easier fights. I think they're more. I think they're more lucrative. I think they're bigger. I think it'll add more names to his leg. Add more names on his resume. I just think those fights make a lot more sense than the ones that he's. You know, the ones over with Matchroom and his own. Uh, also, I. I I don't understand, like I did, like I said to you many times before, how's he going to fight Bivol, then fight Golovkin? It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up. Why is he going to go to 175, win a title there, and then come back down? Surely that doesn't make sense. Surely he would look to win a, win, uh, you know, against Charlo and then Benavides and then look to move up. You don't, you don't go up and then come back down. It just doesn't make any sense. It's kind of stupid. So, uh, personally, I'm not surprised that, um, I, I think, I think that he will accept that deal. I think I'm just going off. I don't know because there's with Canelo, it's like he's back and forth. I personally think hopefully by next, by this week, end of this week, tomorrow maybe, or maybe next week, I think we may hear him confirm that, you know, he's going to, um, whether he's going to accept that deal or not. I think it's a great offer. I do. I think it was a negotiation tactic from Canelo. I think that was probably always the deal that he was probably looking looking at. Um, let's let's see if he takes it. Let's see if it happens. Uh, I hope so. I hope it, I hope it, um, I uh, hope it, you know, it happens because I, I, those would be two cracking fights. You know, one in Las Vegas against Jamal Chola and one in Mexico because that's apparently where Canelo wants to fight. Uh, Miguel said yesterday, Miguel said yesterday that David Benavidez isn't really known in Mexico. So is it really that big a fight? You know, are people going to be invested as much? Like, you know, for example, if a Morales Barrera fought, it'd be a lot bigger. Uh, you know, I, I'm not sure Benavidez is that well known as Miguel pointed out in Mexico where uh, it's going to create that much interest. But I still think it'd be a big fight because I think people would tune in just because it's Canelo. Uh, but I'm not sure how much... I'm I'm not sure how big the fight is in, over in Mexico because as Miguel pointed out, David Benavidez, he isn't really that well known. Uh, so it's going to be interesting. It's going to be very, very interesting to see how um, this all plays out. Um, I hope Canelo does accept it. Uh, I would love to see Canelo fight Charlo and Benavidez. I think they're great fights. I do. Uh, I do. What do you guys, what do you guys think? What do you guys, what do you guys want? Do you want him to fight Bivol or Golovkin? Or do you want to see Charlo and Benavidez? Personally, Charlo and Benavidez all day. He, he defends his well, uh, undisputed championships. Uh, and then he can move up and he would have cleaned out everybody at 168. I, I, I like it. I, I do like it. I think Benavidez is a guy that people think could cause him some trouble. And, and I, I was, people think that I don't give Benavidez the credit. Well, Benavidez will have an opportunity to prove me and many people like me wrong by beating Canelo if he can do it in September, if Canelo accepts that deal. Uh, I'm I'm looking forward to it, man. I'm looking forward to it. I am. I I really hope that Canelo accepts that 
those offers uh if i'm honest with you i really do i really really do because i think i think it would be uh i think it would be great if canelo was to accept uh i really do i think it would be i think it would be massive i think it would be massive because i think both fights are huge they are both huge fights and to be honest with you i don't think they're I don't want to sound disrespectful if I criticize by being a, I don't think they're that hard for how big they are. I don't think the fights are that big for... I don't think... Sorry. I don't think the fight... It's been a long day today. I've got a mad headache. But I don't think the fight... For the, how big the fights are, I don't think the challenge is as tough. I think because of their names and how they're viewed and people view them as a threat, I think... And it's, it's fights that fans want. I think the the the, tra the traction, the the money, the the uh, you know the viewership is going to be massive but i actually don't think canelo will struggle i think canelo against bivol is a far more competitive more dangerous fight in terms of canelo losing the fight i just can't see charlo and benavidez beating canelo alvarez but then that might just be me you know being biased maybe you know some will say i'm being biased but i can't see them beating him i, I honestly i would love i'd love to see it because uh canelo all this ducking nonsense will then completely go out the window uh that canelo's ducking x y and z because we all know Boxing fans, true boxing fans know that Canelo Alvarez is not ducking um, Jamal Charlo or David Benavidez, but it will just kind of put an end, a stop to it. Uh, I don't think, personally, I don't I don't think either guy, I don't think either guy stand a chance, personally. I, I do. And I like Charlo, I like Benavidez. I just think I haven't seen enough from them to think, to, for me to say that they beat uh the pound for pound king in canelo alvarez i haven't seen enough i haven't seen enough from them i don't think they're experienced enough i don't think uh, yeah I, I think canelo will will beat them uh, i do uh and people may disagree people may say imran you're talking nonsense imran you know charlo will beat him canelo will benavidez will beat him benavidez i've heard people say benavidez would stop canelo alvarez which i found kind of like absurd but I guess everyone's entitled to their opinion. Everyone's allowed allowed their opinion, but I just don't see how, I just don't see how you know that happens. That's just my personal opinion. I just don't see how. Um, and I, I I like both guys. I like Benavidez and I like Charlo. But in terms of their boxing ability, they haven't shown me enough. They haven't shown me enough where I think that they can beat someone like Canelo. So for me, that deal is a deal that Canelo should should definitely take 100 million man that's a lot of money for two fights 100 million you know um it's still kind of crazy though because like Floyd was making like he was making that in one fight towards the back end of his career it just shows how big Mayweather was and people give Mayweather a lot of stick but I think that actually shows that you know guys like Canelo who's got like a huge fan base and a huge audience and is such a big superstar like you know he's the biggest star in the sport without question and he's making 100 million for two fights. I, I know he hasn't got the dance partners. The guys that he's fighting aren't superstars. I think the only fight which was a mega, mega fight with him, it was the Golovkin fight because it was another guy that was also perceived as very high class. Um, there isn't really a lot of guys out there uh, for for Canelo, but I, I like the I like the um, I like these two fights. I think they I think they were fun fights. I do. Uh, and I'm they, I don't think they win. But I think they'll get, they'll pose Canelo some issues. They'll pose Canelo some problems. But again, I think Canelo will do what he does best, find a way and win. Um, but yeah, it's it's a great offer. What do you guys What do you guys think? Do you think Canelo Alvarez will accept that offer, or do you think he'll take the Eddie Hearn offer? Personally, I think I it did, the Eddie Hearn offer just didn't sound right to me in the sense that uh, fighting Bivol at one seventy five and then coming back down. I, how does that make sense? You know, fighting because Golovkin's not going to go to one seventy five. He's just not. So, and Golovkin is is now fighting in uh, he's fighting I believe in June or April or something they were saying against Morata. There's you know they're looking to reschedule that fight. So um, that obviously isn't going to for me. That isn't going to work out. That isn't, that isn't going to work out. So personally, I think that this deal is perfect. He can fight Jamal Charlo in Vegas and then he can fight David Benavidez in Mexico. That'd be huge. What what a way what, that like if Canelo beats these two like he again would be fighter of the year without like there is no one putting in that kind of work back to back you know guys like that these are well Benavidez of uh, undefeated former world champion Charlo would be an undefeated former what two eight world champion so I I personally think that you know Canelo Alvarez who's doing it like him imagine if he adds Charlo and Benavidez to his resume 
Imagine what Canelo's resume is going to start looking beefy. If he adds those two names, he would have probably cleaned out the only guy then that would be left. That people would say that, oh, he doesn't want to fight him. He's ducking his Andre. That's it, because he would have cleaned out everybody else. Um, but I, I, I do think that this is a very, very lucrative and appealing offer. Also, I think it's the fact that he's getting paid more money. There's going to be more attention on the fight. Their fights are bigger and their fights, I think he wins a lot easier than the Bivol fight. And not to say, like, I think he beats Bivol as well, but I think it's just a lot easier than those fights. So it makes a lot of sense for him to kind of it kind of take it because I, I just, I think he wins. I, I, I do. I, I think he beats, um, uh, I think he beats Charlo and Benavidez. So yeah, I like it. I like it. What do you guys think? Do you think he'll take the offer or do you think uh, he'll take the Eddie Earn offer? I just don't think the Eddie Earn offer really makes, I just don't think it makes sense, you know, move into, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up to me. So personally, I think this is a deal which Canelo probably will, will accept. But again, until, as you guys say, you guys don't believe uh, believe it until it comes out of Eddie Reynoso's mouth. I made a mistake before. I'm reporting this because I believe in what Michael Benson reports. I know you guys say you don't really trust Michael Benson or Mike Coppinger. I do. I think they. I think generally, more often than not, they're more than right most of the time. And let's be honest, the rep the information that they reported wasn't wrong before. They said that they were close, and that might have information might have been intentionally put out. So PBC improved their offer. So I don't think that information was wrong. I just think that was might have done been done tactically. So then PBC get that information and then PBC increase their offer. Because why would PBC increase their offer? After that, after Matchroom offering what they offered, why have PBC then come out and offered? Like, personally, I would love to see it. Um, I would love to see it. I'd love to see Canelo Alvarez fight Charlo and Benavidez. But what do you guys think? That's what I want to know. I want to know your opinion about this news. Leave your thoughts. Let me know what you think. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.